Are you tired of wasting money on endless creams that promise results but never deliver? In this video, we cut through the hype and reveal the real science behind fixing crepey skin. Say goodbye to viral hacks and hello to proven solutions. Now let's be real, crepey skin isn't just about a few fine lines, it's the thin crinkly tissue paper texture like skin on your arms, neck, your knees, and no amount of expensive body butter seem to make a difference. But here's the good news, fixing crepey skin is possible and it doesn't require a bathroom that looks like Sephora shelf. In this video, I'm going to share the exact strategies that worked for me, from the workouts that rebuild support under the skin, to the foods and supplements that restore collagen, to the skincare ingredients that actually repair. For crepey skin, the recipe is simple. Strength training to rebuild the foundation under your skin, nutrition and supplements to give your body the raw materials for collagen, and targeted topicals like retinol and peptides to repair and renew on the surface. Miss any of these and it's like a three-legged stool with a missing leg. You end up flat on the floor wondering why nothing worked. So let's start with the piece almost no one talks about, the muscle underneath your skin, because this is where the real transformation begins. Here is the part almost no one tells you. Crepey skin isn't just a surface problem. It's not just about lotions or serums. It's about what's happening underneath the skin. Think of it this way. Your skin is like a dress and your muscles are the mannequin. When the mannequin is firm and lifted, the dress looks smooth, but when the mannequin shrinks or collapses, the dress sags and wrinkles. That's what happens as we lose muscles with age. Strength training is the missing key. Squats and lunges tighten the thighs and lift sagging knees. Push-ups and light weights firm the arms and chest. Core work improves posture, which instantly makes the skin on your torso and neck look tighter. Even 10 minutes a day can change the way your skin looks. I'm talking about visible results. When you rebuild the support system beneath the skin, the crepey texture starts to smooth out naturally. Once you start rebuilding the foundation with muscle, the next step is giving your skin the raw materials it needs to repair and that means collagen. Here's the bad news. Once we hit our 40s, our natural collagen production nosedives. Every year we are making less. That's why the skin starts to lose firmness and that crepey thin look sets in. Now the good news, you can feed your skin what it needs. Supplements first. Collagen peptides are one of the few supplements with solid science behind them. Taken daily, they can improve skin elasticity, hydration and smoothness. But here's the key, they don't work overnight. Think of it like planting seeds. You'll notice the difference after weeks and months, not days. Pair them with vitamin C, which your body abs absolutely needs to build collagen, and hyaluronic acid, which helps the skin hold water and stay plump. Now food sources. You don't have to live on powders and pills. Whole foods make a huge difference. Chicken thighs and drumsticks. The connective tissue is loaded with collagen. Eggs, especially the whites, rich in amino acids your body uses to make collagen. Greek yogurt and cottage cheese, high in protein to support muscle and skin. Beans and lentils, plant-based, powerhouses of protein and minerals. Berries and citrus packed with vitamin C to lock in collagen production. Nuts and seeds, healthy fats, plus zinc and copper, tiny minerals with a big role in skin repair. If you build your meals around these foods, you're not just eating for energy, you're literally feeding your skin. Supplements and food give your skin the building blocks from the inside, but you also need to support it from the outside. That's where smart skincare comes in. Number one, retinol. Retinol is the gold standard. It literally tells your skin cells to wake up and get back to work, boosting collagen, improving elasticity, and smoothing that crinkly texture. It's like your boss walking into the office and suddenly everyone's typing again. Number two, peptides. Think of peptides as messengers. They knock on the door of your skin cells and say, hey, start repairing. They're especially helpful when used consistently because they help build back some of the structure that crepey skin has lost. Number three, exfoliation. That skin cells make crepey skin look even worse, dull and even paper-like. Gentle exfoliation with AHAs like glycolic acid helps shed those layers to newer, smoother skin. The trick is to be gentle. If you scrub like you're sending furniture, you're going to make it worse. Now, if you want to speed things up beyond creams and at home care, professional treatments can take results to the next level. 
But, and this is important, not all treatments are created equal. Let's break down the ones that actually move the needle for crepe skin, microneedling with radiofrequency. This is one of my favorites. It creates tiny controlled injuries in the skin while delivering heat deep into the dermis that combo forces your body to make new collagen. Yes, it feels spicy. Yes, you look like a tomato for a few days, but the payoff is firm as thicker skin over time. Ultrasound treatments like Altherapy, these target the deeper layers, basically telling your skin to lift and tighten. Think of it as giving your collagen a wake-up call. It's not a facelift, but it is one of the few non-invasive treatments that really works for sagging and crepey areas. Fractional lasers. Lasers resurface the skin, smoothing texture and stimulating collagen. Great for crepey skin on the face, neck, and even hands. The downside, downtime. You may look like you lost a fight with a blowtorch for a week, but once you heal, the results can be dramatic. And glacial effects, another option that's gaining popularity. Unlike lasers ultrasound, this treatment uses precise cooling technology to calm inflammation, brighten skin, and improve texture. It's FDA cleared, and what makes it interesting is that it's very comfortable com compared to more aggressive procedures. No needles, no heat and no downtime. For crepe skin, it works by reducing redness and stimulating circulation while making your skin more receptive to topical serums applied during the treatment. It's not a collagen building powerhouse like RF microneedling or therapy, but it's a fantastic add-on if your skin is too sensitive for heat-based treatments. And here is the truth. These treatments aren't cheap, but unlike endless jars of moisturizer, they actually get you long-term results. If you are going to invest money, this is where it makes sense. And if professional treatments aren't in your budget right now, don't stress. You can make huge progress with strength training, collagen nutrition, and the right skincare routine at home. The pro treatments just give you that extra boost. Professional treatments can give you a big boost, but here's something that doesn't cost thousands of dollars and makes just as much of a different sleep. Because no matter how many treatments, you invest in, if you are not giving your body time to repair overnight, you are undoing half the benefits. Let's talk about why sleep is one of the most powerful and free tools for fighting crepey skin. When you sleep, your body isn't just resting, it's repairing. Collagen is rebuilt, growth hormone is released, and your skin cells go into overdrive to heal and renew. Cut your sleep short, and you cut the entire repair cycle short too. Here's what the science says. Adults who consistently get seven to eight hours of sleep show fewer signs of aging compared to those who sleep less. And it's not just about looking rested. Chronic sleep deprivation actually speeds up collagen breakdown, which exactly what makes skin look thin, crinkly, and crepey. Even if you're doing all the right things, lifting weights, eating protein, using retinol, there are hidden villains that can quietly undo your progress. Number one, stress. Chronic stress floods your body with cortisol, which literally breaks down collagen. It's like having a silent thief stealing from your skin's bank account every single day. Number two, sugar. Sugar triggers glycation, where sugar molecules stick to collagen fibers, making them stiff and brittle. Instead of springy, they snap. That shows up as sagging, wrinkling, and crepey texture. Number three, the sun. UV rays are the number one cause of premature collagen loss. They damage skin DNA and destroy elastin. Sunscreen is non-negotiable. Face, neck, chest, hands, every single morning. Number four, smoking. Smoking cuts off blood supply to the skin, reduces oxygen, and destroys collagen. It's not just bad for your lungs, it's instant aging for your face. And number five, alcohol. Alcohol dehydrates your skin and drives inflammation. A glass of wine here and there is fine. But nightly cocktails, that's basically pressing the fast forward button on crepey skin. The takeaway? You don't need to be perfect, but you do need to be mindful. Lower your stress, cut back on sugar, protect yourself from the sun, skip the cigarettes, and keep alcohol in moderation. Do that and you are giving your collagen the best chance to thrive. If this video helped you understand how to really fix crepey skin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It tells YouTube this content matters and it helps other women find me too. And if you are ready to take the next step, I've got some resources for you. My seven day high protein menu that shows you exactly how to eat for stronger skin and muscle.
my strength training at your desk perfect if you're short on time but want to start building support under your skin and my six skincare product everyone should be using so you stop wasting money and focus only on what works and i just created creepy skin guide as well and you will find all of these that you can download in the description and if you enjoy my content you will enjoy this next video next as well bye